Hello friends, so today we are going to use theater plugin to do the background image of this interface. So first thing, let's take a look at our reference. So shout out to this person, Andrebo community, thank you. So now let's start it with the starters right here and grab the black and white. Let's see. So today that this area within the dotted line is the area that we need to put our image in. So let's uh, hit command K to open up the quick menu. I'm going to choose this Lumi plugin. This one is really great. So, um, then look for abstract. Now let's pick one. I feel this one is pretty cool. So let's use this one. Okay. Uh, so now next thing that we may we need to do is open the data plugin. So there are two plugins that you could use. One is this one, VGA Dither Core.xe, or this Dither apply amazing dithering effect for any image. So let's try the first one first. So this is a very um, artistic layout for uh, this look like a, a heading, but actually it's an action. So let's import a selection. So as you can see, you can adjust the step to make it very pixelized or not. So I figure I might go with this one. Then you can create a different palette. So as you can see, this is not a really good use case for a slider since um, this is not a scale, it's a different mode. So anyway, so I think this looks nice. Then we could see this other diffusion and which one you like it. I'm gonna keep this one, Atkinson. So you can also adjust the one that you need here. I think this one looks nice. Then the uh, resolution I always choose for 960 that we could explore to canvas. So now we have this one. Then we are going to command C to copy the image field. Then we click to this place and then command C, command V, sorry, to pass it and then remove the stroke. So that's it. This is the one that we could do using the Deezer plugin. And another trick is that you could Put a layer on top. Let's not do in this. Let's put a layer on top and then choose a color. Let's say we like this sign color, maybe here. Then we're going to use blending more. And is see which one looks great. We use I think color bridge looks nice. So we just copy this one and then put it right here. And you could of course adjust the color blending a bit. So it doesn't look too striking. We want the color to be a bit less saturated. This looks nice. Now we could do another one that you see. And then as you can see here that you have different kind of dots, performance that you could choose. So I'm going to choose this one. Mm, let's make it a bit fine. It's this one. I'm going to use it in this uh, light mode. So I'm going to adjust the brightness a bit and keep the meat not too dark and give it a glow do we need always? no maybe this then we are going to export so as you can see this image has big change now we could do that again and then remove the stroke then we could also add this effect in so this blend mode apparently needs to change to yeah okay I think plus darker and then let's change it to lighter playing with a band mode and then you could get the the effect that you need but i bet that's it for everything i think the main difference for these two plugins is that for the dealer plugin that it can only output a uh, black and white image but for this vga uh, color plugin that you could have different output let me just do this again for vga it's import selection so as you can see you could have uh, a lot of different effect that have different color combination so I figure it's much re it's rich in the uh, ex exploration and this is just plain color but you could also use a technique right here to add color to it and here are a few examples so these are also exploration on different plugin these are the original image as you can see this is the image that we choose and uh, the VJ could have some interesting colored output but the teaser, it could also only have the uh, black and white version. So these are the techniques that I use, that we use the plus docker. And this one is, yeah, plus docker. So I guess that's it for this tutorial. It's very quick. So let me know if you have any questions. See you.